Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU wants to make copper broadband pricing consistent across Europe. EU proposal for regulation on shipping emissions. European Union decision impaired the potential for profitable vegetable oil crushing in Finland. Telco only sometimes has to tell you it spaffed your data. Plus, Goldman Sachs bosses warn banks will flee London if UK quits the single market. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. The EU has the goal that by 2020 it wants all of us, no matter where we live in the European Union, to have access to a 30 megabits broadband connection and half of us to be buying a 100 megabit service. To help with this medium term goal, the EU is looking at how it can provide some regulatory certainty across the borders of the member states. Today's guidance to regulators just doesn't give businesses, old or new, the certainty they need to make change in investments. It's time to change, a spokesperson said. The UK, contrary to some voices, is doing very well in terms of meeting the 30 megabits for all target. And if the retail price is right, there is almost no doubt that half of us will be buying a 100 megabit connection in the next seven years' time. The EU has hinted for some time at pushing forward with a regional initiative when it comes to carbon dioxide and shipping. And now we have it. In late June, the industry was presented with their new draft regulation on monitoring, reporting and verification of CO2 from shipping. This story in our articles section and prepared by Lloyd's Register provides a summary of European Union proposal for regulation on monitoring, reporting and verification of CO2. Now the point mark to watch for here will be the increased taxation or levies to be imposed upon shipping. We manufacture considerably less here in the UK than in the past, yet our requirements are higher, which in turn means imported goods. Most of the goods arrive in shipping containers. Any increase in transport costs will be reflected in the goods prices. So you can rest assured the EU will be looking at this as a potential source of tax revenue. The EU decision will ban the use of the most common plant protection product used in oilseed cultivation starting on 1st of December 2013. As a result of the decision, the estimated oilseed cultivated area continues to decline significantly in Finland, which has led to cooperation negotiations in Razio's oil milling industry. Uh, during the current crop season, oilseed plants have grown on some 50,000 hectares in Finland, while three years ago, the area under oilseed cultivation was nearly 160,000 hectares. Reducing supply, now coupled with greater difficulty in protecting the oilseed plants from insect damage, will result in an increase in derivative product prices. However, the plant protection chemical is strongly suspected of having a devastating impact on bee populations whose numbers have declined significantly. Without the bees, no pollination occurs and thus no oilseed. New rules setting out the circumstances in which telecoms companies need to report personal data breaches, as well as the kind of information they need to share in those reports, have come into force. The EU's regulation on the notification of personal data breaches applies to all providers of publicly available electronic communication services, such as internet service providers and other telecoms companies, and sets new rules on notifying both regulators and customers about personal data breaches. Further creep forward in the surveillance state, the common thinking is, I'm doing nothing wrong, I have nothing to hide. Well, I think that's a mistake. Privacy and liberty go hand in hand. And let's not forget, you don't get to say what is right and what is wrong. The EU state does. (music) 
Two Goldman Sachs bosses have warned that the city of London's many financial firms would flee the UK if it were to quit its membership of the European Union after a proposed referendum which could take place in 2017. Michael Sherwood and Richard Node, chief executives of investment banking behemoth Goldman Sachs International, told the Evening Standard that their institutions would sweep staff away from London and into a rival European city to maintain their access to the lucrative single market. We are going to be part of that economy. There is no scenario under which we will not be participating, said Sherwood. The only question is, do we do it all from here? So the globalist banksters are trying to hold the UK to ransom. I am confident that no one gives a hoot and nanny about the opinions of the whiz-kid banking kleptocracy that caused this financial mess in the first place. Naked short-selling, vacuous mortgage-backed securities, derivatives, all a complete fraud, brought about by lobby and leverage of parliaments and politicians around the globe, with their campaign of deregulation. Sorry, Goldman, you ripped us off. So Messrs Sherwood and Gnode, in the words of Gloria Gaynor, go, walk out the door. Don't turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Today, in our video library, following on from my Goldman rip-off rant, here is a very informative video with Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert. Want to know where the economy is going? Want to know why we are where we are today? Well, in a nutshell, it's all manipulated. The whole financial shebang. Federal Reserve liquidity funding for European banks? Check. Dollar printing and rogue monetary policy? Check. Naked short selling and market manipulation? Check. Gold price suppression? Check. Naked ETF fraud and much more. Is it any wonder we have such an economic mess on our hands? Well, to be frank, no. Not really. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.